Cisco FTD high availability makes two FTD devices to be failover. That means if primary device fails, the secondary device takes over to forward the traffic. FTD supports active standby failover where only active device forward the traffic. When a failover occurs, a standby unit becomes active to take over the traffic. Configuring FTD high availability requires the two identical FTD device connected to each other through a dedicated failover link and optionally a state link. The same link can be used for both failover link and a state link. Identical devices means that the FTD devices must be in the same model with the same interface type and number of interfaces. Software version and firewall mode also must be the same. Over failover link, a status of each device is monitored and the configuration is also synchronized. Over a state link, connection state information like session table and NAT table are synchronized so that if a failover occurs, existing connections are not disrupted. I already have an active FTD with transparent firewall mode and inline IPS mode in the network. To configure HA, I've already installed a new FTD virtual without any configuration. We log in with default admin, admin123 credential and we will set up the second FTD like the first FTD as transparent mode license agreement a new password do you want to configure IPv4? yes the management IP address of the first FTD is 192.168.200.101 we configure the management IP address of second FTD 102 IPv6 no Manuel 192, 168, 200, 102. And the mass, SH24, and the gateway, 201. The name, FTD Virtual 2. And domain, Raika-co.com local manage the device locally no through fmc it will be managed the mode as the first ftd transparent then we will configure the second ftd to connect to existing FMC with the IP address of 192.168.200.100 with a command configure man, configure manager at 192.168.200.100 with the key of Raika this is our current FMC the same IP address show manager show manager it is in the pending state we also add new FTD with IP address of 192.168.200.102 in existing FMC add device 192.168.200.102 101 is the first FTD and 102 is the second FTD FTD V and the key is Raika 
the default IPS as access control policy, which is also assigned to the first FTD. And then the licenses must be enabled. FTD virtual 2. Then register. We have to wait until the second device is added into the FMC. So I will pause the video. The second FTD is also added to the FMC with some not critical error. Security intelligence update and your filtering of this and anti-malware protection update are not uh, downloaded correctly because it has no internet connection at the moment. Then uh, we make sure that the all changes are deployed. As you can see, all devices are up to date. And default IPS is also default access control policy of the second FTD device. Then we will add the second FTD as HA or high availability in add high availability HA. The device type is Firepower Threat Defense or FTD. The first device is FTD Virtual and the second device is FTD Virtual 2 and then continue. This operation restart the SNOT process, yes. In high availability configuration, I choose Giga Ethernet 4 as both failover and a state link, same as LAN failover link, and configure 100. The logical name is failover. And the configure 192, 168, 201, 1, for example, in the primary side of the failover link and 2 in the secondary side of failover link and the subnet mask. And then add. Then we have to wait until high availability is completely deployed. The both devices will appear under a HA configuration showing the high availability configuration. And we cannot configure each device separately. We can only configure HA device that publish the configuration in both devices. As you can see, HA configuration is finished and the first FTD is primary and active FTD and the second FTD is secondary and standby. And only the active FTD forward the traffic and as you can see, you are not able to edit the configuration of these two devices, only you are allowed to edit the configuration of HA, which publish the configuration to both devices. If uh, we click over HA, we can monitor or edit HA settings in this section. Failover link and state links are displayed. It show also which interfaces are monitored. And here we have failover trigger criteria. We can also change failover trigger criteria. By default, if one of the monitored interfaces are down, then failover will take place. Peer and also interface, poll time and hold time can be changed from seconds to milliseconds to reduce the reaction time of failover. I change as example the timers of the peer hold time to 3 seconds. 
I don't change any other setting and then okay. And then save. Check if we need to deploy the changes. Yes, changes must be deployed. Again, I pause the video until the de deployment is finished. Deployment is finished and HA is correctly configured. I'll check it again. As you can see, to check if FTDHA works correctly, let's from the computer behind FTD ping one device on the other side of FTD and also Telnet the same IP address. And then to check the HA, I try to disconnect one of the interfaces of the first FTD, which is monitor the outside interface. And then we expect the ping is time mode, but after one time mode, it is connected again. And the telnet is also there. And if we refresh this page, we can see that the secondary device is now active and the primary device is failed. We can change the configuration again to the previous setting. And also, we can force from here, switch active here. And are you sure you want to make FTDV the active here? Yes. After a while, I expect that the first FTD is again, the primary FTD is again the active and the second FTD is a standby. So it happens as we expected.